Good day. Welcome back to my channel. Good day, this is Doc Lee once again and welcome back to my channel. For the last three weeks, I was not able to uh, upload any video in my vlog because I was busy with work. You know, the, uh, the the year is ending so there are many reports to be done and to be submitted. So, I am the second day of my forced leave, the last in this school in this year. And I will be going to the river because we'll be taking a bath with my beautiful niece China with Bingo over here. And Serena Elaine. Hi, Good. 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 Yes. And uh, today is the second day of my four day forced leave because we advertise as we settled over there. Okay, we're near to the Ambakanan. So, uh, I will be sharing a review of how or what happened to year 2020 for me. So, I will try to give a review, a short analysis of my life for this 2020. The lessons that I learned, my success, and perhaps some failures and, you know, give my viewers and my fans they have fans the idea how I deal with 2020 yes okay Doc Lee how's your 2020? oh 2020 is the uh, year of the COVID-19 but in fairness year 2020 really is very significant for me because Last February, I won as the most outstanding scholar school teacher of the whole division of Technology City. So imagine, I am, I was just in my second year, I just finished my second year, yet I was already given the recognition as outstanding teacher of, this, of the division of Technology City. So it was really amazing. Now that was the time that COVID-19 was announced. So, uh, it was really wonderful. Doc Lee, can you give some tips to young teachers or young people in this generation um, and how to become successful on a career? Okay, thank you so much for that question. So, the first thing that I would like to share to young people, especially to young teachers, is, you know, find the true meaning of happiness. So, it took me 40 years to be to realize that teaching really is my career that is really my profession in fact i after my stand in holy name university i went abroad working as a manager there and it was then that i realized that teaching really is my call so find your call and then do the best that would make you happy don't mind other people as long as you're doing the right thing and then you know Establish something for yourself. Invest something for yourself, like education. I did not expect that I will, in just my two years, a second year in the Department of Education, I would be given the, the award. But because I invested so much for my education, training abroad, joining conferences, spending my own money. So in other words, you really have to invest for yourself and for your future and find your happiness. And also, select the people that would surround you. Meaning, people with good vibes. Do not mind losing people, losing friends for the process. As long as you know that these people would bring something good in you. At the same time also, you can bring something good in or on them. Okay, thank you. So, uh, year 2020 is also very wonderful to me. Doctor of 
Just a month ago, I lost my dad. My father died on the same day of my birth anniversary. It was May 2020. So, just a month after, I was given the permission as a sense in the school. And then, relax. I just said, it's not my and I would also, and I would also like to share another tip for you. So whatever job or whatever course you take, and eventually you will find a job. Stress, tension, problems, issues, or generally, I will call it challenges are just a normal. It's just normal. You know, rivalry, people not like you, you know, stress your job. But what matter, what matter most is you know your security, you know your source of happiness. So, ako kinuhugot ko yung lakas mo doon sa paniniwala na I can help other people, more people with my job. In the same time also, <laughs> that was a joke. The same time also, uh, I invest for my hobby, and that hobby is you know cactus, <laughs> San Siberia. You know, I have plenty of collections for my plants. I started with cactus and dwarf aquariums. So, uh, though I spent money for my hobby, but because it's also another source of my happiness, then go now. Ganon. You know, invest for your happiness, select your friends, know your priority, and assert yourself that there is always a place for you. Thank you. Now, I'm going to post. I'm going to post. I'm going to post. I'm It cannot be denied, and I would be arrogant to say that. To say if I would say uh, 2020 is really great for the world and even for me personally. But I cannot also deny that there were so many positive things that happened to me and even COVID-19 brings something beautiful like I was able to really rediscover what is really my, my priority because after spending some years in abroad and decided to, you know, to uh, settle here in the Philippines but when I was already working I find working in the public school as a research teacher for the senior high school students really frustrating because you have your ideals you have your trainings you have your experience and many of those things cannot be implemented your plans cannot be fully implemented because to like it or not, there is a different set of students in the public school system. Of course, there are excellent students, but but you know, um, more of the, the students there, the culture really is different. And my training was in a university. So I was in a state of depression for some time. And good thing that I was able to discover my passion in raising cactus, the colored cactus, though it was an expensive hobby, but I, you know, during the COVID time, I started grafting and successfully grafting numerous cactus and sold it. So I earned money out of it. I buy some appliances because of my earnings in the in the cactus, especially during the, the summertime, the uh, you yeah, know the start the start of the, the quarantine. So that's it, guys. But. Uh, I, I am the kind of person who looks into the, the silver lining of the situation. So, uh, on the religious perspective or whatever perspective na atong, atong gamiton, still, we should be thankful and I am thankful that I survived and I get promoted, you know, I receive some awards and work with new people in a new environment. So, 
I am praying and hoping for a better 2020 for all of us, especially for our health. No more COVID-19 or other similar virus that really wreak havoc to the world. So uh, stay tuned for my new vlogs and I am wishing and even, and even praying for the best to all of us. Thank you so much and God bless.